Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we are looking at the Kuat Sherpa 2.0 bike rack here on our 2020 Subaru Forester. So this is a great bike rack if you're looking for something that is solid, easy to use and will keep your bike safe and secure as you go on your trip. One of its features, which I'm super excited about since it does it so well, is to tilt away. To do so, pull this lever right over here and just let it slowly fall. And you can see that angle of tilt away, which is really good because even with limited clearance here on our Forester, you can see that you can definitely open up your hatch, access your, the inside of your car, maybe put away groceries or get your bike helmet out all without having to take off your bike because you can just tilt it away. And if you want to lift it back up, all you need to do is lift it back up and it snaps into place. The way our bike is mounted to our bike rack is by this wheel strap as well as this wheel mount. So the wheel mount is nice because even if you have, let's say, your carbon frame bikes, your alternate frame bikes, it's perfectly fine because it's mounted by the wheel. So to release it, I like to start with the wheel strap first. Just press that lever here and pull the ratcheting strap out. Then you go for the wheel mount, hold on to your bike here, press that button, and that will allow it to lift up. Then you get to push it away. And this is nice because then you don't have to lift it up so high as you take your bike off and you're ready to go on a bike ride. While we're here, let's take a look at the cradle so you can see how this pivots to accommodate wheels of different shapes and sizes. Now this can accommodate a tire width of up to three inches and it uses a ratcheting strap so you can see how that really straps down to secure your wheel. Over here by the front, this has this nice pop out wheel cradle. So that's a nice design just to keep things compact while it's in the stored position. This wheel mount comes over to the other side and can be compressed back in. The bike rack itself has a weight capacity of 40 pounds per bike. It also includes a nice little cable lock that wraps around your bikes and locks right into there. Now this is also key to like with your hitch lock, so you only need one key to access the whole thing. When you do have a bike rack on your vehicle, remember that there is some length added to the back of your vehicle. Exactly how much on our Subaru Forester from the back bumper to the back of our wheel mount here, it's 30 and a quarter inches. That's actually a fair amount of length for a two bike platform rack, but just something to keep in mind when you are backing into your garage or parking into a tight spot. Now for ground clearance, we have first at the end, which is here by the end of the wheel mount, it's 20 inches and coming closer, right where that shank is, it is at 11 and a half inches. So that's ground clearance, something to keep in mind when you are driving up a steep incline, like a driveway or a hill. As for the closest point between the bike rack and our vehicle, when it is folded down, it is from the bumper to this end, it is six and a quarter inches. To fold it up, you can use this lever again. Just pull that lever and then this folds up just like that. So now let's see how much length it is in this position. From our back bumper to the end, right where the anti-rattle knob is, it is 11 and three quarter inches. So this is a big difference compared to when you have it folded down. You definitely want it in this position when you are driving around town. Now for the closest point with it folded up, it is one and seven eighth inches. So that's actually a fair amount of space considering that this is a solid bike rack and it's not getting any closer than that. This bike rack fits into a two inch hitch, just like what we have here on our Subaru Forester. It also has an inch and a quarter option if that's what you have on your vehicle. Now this comes with a hitch pin lock. Remember this is key to like to your cable lock and it comes with an anti-rattle 
knob mechanism. So that means you're not using any tools to install this. You just pop it in there and use this knob to tighten it down. And this is honestly one of the more solid fits I've seen on a bike rack. Even though I'm shaking as hard as I can, it's mainly the vehicle shaking and not the bike rack. This is our test course. Let's start with the slalom. This shows side-to-side -side action, such as turning corners or evasive maneuvering. Then on to our alternating speed bumps. This shows twisting action, such as hitting curbs, potholes, road debris, or any even pavement. And last of all, the solid speed bumps. This shows up and down action, such as driving through a parking lot or parking garage, or driving in and out of a driveway. My final thoughts about this bike rack is for one, it looks really good. What we have here is the gray, but it also comes in black and pearl. All three colors, I believe, really look good here on our Forester, especially with its design here where it's compact with the, how the cradles pop in and out. Now, as for how it works, I love its tilting feature because it tilts at such a deep angle that we still get to access our hatch here on our car. So that was a look on the Kuat Sherpa 2.0 here on our 2020 Subaru Forester.